But generally speaking also we know about sadness and indeed the depressive state that it seems to be something to do with an imbalance in the brain that allows the right frontal pole to be predominant, so the, the front of the right hemisphere. And that can either be because there is a deficit further back in the right hemisphere, which means that suddenly the frontal lobe, which is in constant balance with the posterior part of the same hemisphere, becomes predominant. Or it can be because of some sort of deficit in the left frontal lobe. The left frontal lobe seems to have an emotional timbre of elation, irritability, uh, and it, no surprise, it's in overdrive when people are manic. Um, and it tends to be optimistic. Absurdly optimistic about things they can't be optimistic about, yes. Um, so a completely unreal optimism is also a feature of people who have right hemisphere deficits. And it's one of the reasons that it's harder to rehabilitate them, which is something I think quite interesting. You'd think that somebody who'd lost their speech and lost the use of their right hand, which a lot of people with left hemisphere strokes have, would be harder to rehabilitate, but it isn't the case. They're much easier to rehabilitate than people with a right hemisphere stroke. Partly, as I explained, it's some fairly straightforward things to do with language and the right hand that go missing in a left hemisphere stroke, whereas in a right hemisphere stroke, one's whole sense of reality and of how one relates to the world and what other people are meaning when they say things, that becomes problematic. But it's also that the person who is relying now mainly on the left hemisphere is absurdly optimistic, can't see that they've got a deficit. Nice story about a man who worked in personnel and he had a um, alas, a, a, a right a frontal tumour, and he clearly couldn't do his job, but he, he didn't think that he needed to take sick leave or retire. He was fine. This often happens, denial that you're ill when the deficit is in the right hemisphere. And one of, the, uh, one of his colleagues said to him, OK, let me describe some of the things that you are experiencing, and what would you advise somebody as a, an HR manager, if they came to you with these symptoms, oh, I'd say you need to take time off work. Well, but it's very hard <laughs> to get, it to not, not relating it to himself, no.